BF3 Reality Mod is a continuation of Project Reality. And if you're looking at this thinking, God, this looks a lot like Squad, well, there's a reason for that. If you weren't aware, the game Squad was built by a lot of the same folks who uh, originally created Project Reality, which was a Battlefield 3 mod back in the day. And uh, BF3 Reality Mod is built off of a lot of the same you know, functionality. Um, however, it's using the BF3 engine, and it looks quite a bit better. To be perfectly honest, I was very surprised at how good this game still looks and how well it holds up um, in 2022. Um, and this BF3 Frostbite engine is pretty damn good looking. Oh, I got him! Yes! Now, if picking up BF3 Reality Mod is something that you're considering doing, um, there are a couple of caveats you should be aware of. Firstly, you're going to need Battlefield 3 and all of its DLC content uh, linked to an Origin account. You also need to download the BF3 Reality Mod Launcher through Venice Unleashed's website. Once you create your account through uh, Venice Unleashed uh, and you get your soldier situated, it's pretty easy to set up, honestly. Um, uh, there's just a few things you have to pay attention to. They do go through all the steps you need to know if you do go through um, actually purchasing this uh, mod. Now, keep in mind that this uh, does not cost anything. Once you own Battlefield 3 and all that DLC and all that good stuff, uh, BF3 Reality Mod is a free download. Uh, but you just need to have those things uh, on your computer and download it already. Now, there are some limitations to a game being built on an engine that came out with Battlefield 3 back in 2011. That's correct. It's 11 years old this engine is um, there's no leaning which i know a lot of people have just listening and watching the chat uh we're hoping to have but battlefield 3 did not have leaning and as far as the actual uh physical movement uh, functionality of this game is concerned you, they can't change a ton of that um but even with that uh this game looks beautiful it really does and it's hard to believe that this game essentially could have been an 11 year old game um based on just how good it looks. Now, they did do some improvement with lighting and, and some other meshes and things like that, but it, it's still just kind of mind-blowing how good this game actually looks and plays. Now, there are some issues. Uh, it's a brand new game. It's a brand new release, um, and it's being done by a very small group of people, so um, some of these issues are probably expected. Um, one of them is um, there'll be some times when you get some hiccups uh, connection-wise. I actually, the game crashed on me a few times before um, I realized that I had to stop. I was running MSI Afterburner, um, as I do with most games, but uh, I think it was kicking this game into too much of an overdrive and it just was crashing the game, so I had to turn it off. Once I did, no more crashing. There are still some hitching issues. There's some slight rubber banding uh, every once in a while. Um, things that they are aware of and are saying that they will be fixing and um, it'd be interesting to see how well they're able to you know uh, update these particular issues which are more to do with uh, server um, and client side things I'm sorry non client side things more server side things so um, they just came out with a, an update a couple days ago uh, which has promised to fix some of these issues uh, but they're going to continue working on that as this game um, stays out and more people start joining and playing speaking of that maybe the most interesting thing about this game will be to see whether or not it can build a player base that is able to sustain it uh, and continue growing it over the next year or two here so uh, it'll be interesting to find out um, I've had a lot of fun playing this game uh, let me know if you guys are playing this at all I uh, would love to maybe jump in with a game uh, jump in on a game with you uh, but uh, thank you for stopping by the channel I do appreciate the hell out of it I hope you're having a great week and uh, we'll see y'all later